And of course, that conversation continues. But we are receiving breaking news this morning that uh, there has been a road accident um, that is uh, in Miga area near Salga, Nakuru County. And seven people are said to have lost their lives with 38 others injured. We are reaching Marian Nyambura, who is at the scene, to bring us to speed about what is happening. Marian, uh, what can you tell us this morning? Right, we're trying to get in touch with uh, Marianne Nyambura. Uh, we understand that uh, there has been a road accident and uh, we are getting information that seven people have lost their lives, while 38 have been injured and uh, rescued from the scene, which is in Miga, near Salga area of uh, Nairobi Nakuru Highway. Do you have Marianne now? Good morning, Marianne. What can you tell us? Well, good morning, Sam. Well, indeed, uh, this is an accident that occurred at around uh, 5 a.m. Um, along the Nakuru Eldoret Highway at Sachangwan area, Omega area um, in uh, Nakuru. This involving a coast bus or a bus belonging a, a 40 um, 50 seater or 60 seater bus as well as a saloon car and uh, this is along the magic wall which um, was constructed to avoid accidents along the Nakuru Eldoret Highway. Remember Salga or Sachangwan area is one of the areas that was um, had um, witnessed um, um, accidents along this route and so this magic wall was aimed at um, ensuring that the accidents are well, of course, curbed. Uh, but right now, uh, what we um, are seeing is a picture of uh, or the wreckage or some of the um, wreckage of the vehicle of this particular bus that was involved in the accident. What we have gathered so far, or we have spoken to the first responders, they're actually telling us that what happened is that this particular bus lost control uh, as af after the brakes failed leading to this. So we'll just be speaking to one of the first responders to give us more details into what exactly is happening. But right now, um, search and rescue efforts are still ongoing. We understand that, um, that there are some of the there are some people who are still trapped uh, beneath the wreckage of this particular bus and so the search and rescue mission is ongoing as well as this particular ramp is here to ensure that it lifts um, the wreckage of this um, vehicle so that they then uh, begin or continue with that particular exercise of rescuing those who are still trapped beneath. I'll be speaking to the first responders. Um, first off is uh, Rachel who was here in the morning. Pengine Rachel Maru weze kutueleza nini haso ilitokea mapema leo na ni jinsi gani ambavo mekua mki, um, kihakikisha kuwa meweza kuwatoa wale ambao wamehusika kwenye ajali hii. Tumepiwa simu tukaambiwa kwamba kuna ajali ambayo imefanyika hapa. Wakati tulifika hapa tukakuta coast bus ilikuwa imegonga ile gari ndogo ikakuja ikateremka ikaanguka ika hapa. Sasa kitu ambacho kiko tunaambiwa kwamba na abiria kwamba wali hii gari ilikuwa imearibika wakaripot kericho kwamba gari hii kuwa mzuri lakini hawakusikika hawakusikiwa wakakuja ndipo sasa wakaleta hiyo shida yote. Eh uh, naam pengine ukiweza kutueleza tangu asubuhi mmeweza kuwatoa ama wangapi ambao umeweza kuona wale ambao wamejeruhiwa na vile vile milingapi ambazo ameweza kuondoa katika uh, uh, tukio hili wenye tume wenye wamepelekwa hospitali karibu 36 38 na wengine wamekufa ndio wamepelekwa mochari wengine bado wako trap okay. eh well, well, Sam, uh, that is the first responder. We'll be speaking, of course, to other uh, witnesses uh, as well as the chief Miga area just to give us more details or shed more light into what exactly transpired. But uh, currently, the scene has not yet been cleared. Police officers, yes, are here. They are trying to ensure that they clear the scene as soon as possible uh, so that for ease of uh, traffic flow. But what we're seeing right now is still the, the wreckage of this particular saloon car is still stationed here. We are seeing... Um, one of the vehicles that uh, breakdown vehicles that is supposed to um, uh, transport this vehicle or tow it uh, to the either Molos police station or Salga police station here in Nakuru. So this is an accident that occurred at around 5 a.m. Uh, we of course will get more details from uh, police officers regarding uh, the death toll which currently um, 
what the exercise as the search and rescue uh, mission is ongoing. Of course, there are some bodies that have already been retrieved uh, from this particular scene. So this is the vehicle, uh, the saloon car that was involved in this particular accident involving the coast bus. And so we will be here just to give more details as we wait to see um, or get confirmation uh, from the police officers regarding um, the death toll or the number of people who have succumbed as a result of this particular accident. Sam? All right. Thank you so much, Emirian Nyambura, for that update, of course, about that information of uh, the accident between the bus and uh, the Salonka. And uh, we'll be sure to follow up on the details to bring you more in our subsequent uh, bulletins. Our thoughts and prayers with the families that have lost their loved ones, even as more efforts are put to ensure that uh, those affected are attended to at various health facilities. we take a short break here. When we come back, we'll be diving into the conversation about what is happening at uh, the education sector. Do stay tuned for that. <coughs>